Welcome back to Ano 1800. In the last episode, we finally put our dam on. So we have electricity all over the Manola gigantic island. And this is creating a lot of potential, but also a lot of problems, right? All of my productions are out of whack now because we're producing, you know, double with electricity for some of the productions like sewing machine, but not for others like sugar cane. But don't worry, this is not a problem. This is an opportunity, as I said, an opportunity to fix the new world. We're going to completely change it. We're going to go from all of these farms and all of these farms to this way more organized. And also at the same time, a lot less farms because we're going to start playing with tractors and things like this. La Isla used to be a small island with production directly on the island. This is now gone. To this, it's hard to recognize La Isla, right? But I'll explain to you what's happening. And most importantly, there were so many productions still to be done. Mezcal, perfume, scooters, even in the happiness tab, right? We barely did anything. Lifestyle need too. We need to do more. So let's change that. I hope you're excited because it is a packed episode full of new productions, full of big changes. Let's jump into the future. Okay, so first of all, let's be clear, a few hours have passed because these kind of changes, they take time. While you know that I have tons of stamps and if you miss them, you can download them on my Discord community, you never have the perfect stamps to fit exactly where you want. So I had to create a lot of things by hand. But now we're providing everything to our people. Look at this. It's all green. I love it. I love it. But before we look at La Isla, actually, Let's look at the other islands, because now I'm using pretty much all of the other islands, starting with La Isla. La Isla over here is all journaleros. You know, this is full of journaleros. You can see a lot of journaleros, right? We have basically covered the map, not perfectly, but pretty much based on post offices. You know, like over here, this is outside of the range of the post office, so I didn't put any people. Already I have enough. But all of these are inside the range of the post office. We have multiple of those post offices, as you can see. So with this, we have a big storage, 360, but we also have a big production, right? We have a big production of local mail that we can transport into regional mail, sending it to Manola, but also into overseas mail, sending it to the old world. I have two big islands on the new world, remember, right? Manola and La Isla. And then we have also two big islands in the old world, we have Ditchwater and the new capital, and that's how we're getting, you know, perfect coverage of all of our mail. I'm also giving them everything, right? They have, of course, the market, they have the fried plantain, the poncho, happiness, they have the rum and the chapel and lifestyle need. Look at this. How beautiful is this? All three mail I just said. We also have the war clothes from the old world, we have the felt from the new world, we have the tef from Mbesa that we just unlocked in the last episode. So I just basically expanded a bit my production of TEF in Mbesa. This is what you can see over here. We won't spend too much time today on Mbesa. I think the last few episodes were already heavy on Mbesa. But, you know, I wanted to show you that I basically expanded a bit there to have enough TEF for all of my people over here in the new world. And then we have the balls, soccer balls. We have the beach. I actually have two beaches. There's one on this side and one on the other side. They both have a huge bonus of plus 682 um, thanks to, you know, the expansion of the beach, as you can see over here, it goes quite far. So, yeah, there is a great coverage of the beach across my island. And last but not least, the cinema. We have started the cinema. You don't actually need many. I think I have probably two, maybe three across the island. It has a huge range. You do need to provide some film reel. So I'm sending those film reel because there is no production on the island. I mean, no, that's not entirely true. There is a few small production like, like we already had before the two gold mines. They're still there. They're still functioning. And actually, I even gave them some electricity. Because you may remember that the gold was very hard, right? It was very hard to make a lot. So that's why I'm giving them electricity. And thus, I also have, you know, oil refinery over here to get more electricity. But yeah, that's basically the only production. So we do have quite a few ships that are transporting back and forth the resources. All right? let's look at our routes over here. It is new. It is in New World Intra for my people. All right? we have the felt that's coming from Manola. We have the 
right plantain that's coming from Manola. I think you're starting to see, you know, a pattern. We have the local mail between, you know, those two islands with Manola, with Poncho from Manola, the Ram from Manola, and the soccer ball and film reel. You know, I just put two film reel. That's totally enough. As you can see, you know, it's full. So it's working perfectly. And by the way, for all of these, I have put a cargo ship. They are all on Steam now. Actually, you know, if we look over here, you can see, it's pretty. I'm not lying, they're all on Steam. It's perfect. So it's obviously costing a bit more influence because a cargo ship is three influence versus a clipper was only two, but it transports more, right? Instead of 200, it's transporting 300. And you have, you know, the constant speed. That's really good. So yeah, This is obviously a big change for the city, but now a lot of people are never going to run out of Jornaleros. We're fine. Now let's start looking at all of the other islands around. Basically, most of the other islands right now are what I call a no population island, where I'm just using the free labor that we have, and in this case, the free Jornaleros to have some productions. In this case over here, this is herbs. You know, it's a beautiful farm, as you can see, it's providing some herbs, which we're sending, of course, to Manola. So not much happening on this island for now. On this one over here, this is actually wood. Right? We have a lot of those lumberjackets, as you can see, providing a lot of wood. This is also a no population island, so you can put plus 50 without any risk of fire or riot. And continuing around, we have this one over here, which I think is the only one where we have nothing, or one of the few where we have nothing. Then this one is a critical one. And actually, it wasn't possible to do it with only no workforce, so I have connected it to the global workforce with you know, energy platform and the commuter station. So on this one, you do need to put, you know, fire station and police station, otherwise you will have a problem. And I'm also not actually putting plus 50 for many of them, otherwise I'm gonna have a problem. But yeah, we're producing a couple of things over here. We're producing citrus, we're producing also camphor wax, and last but not least, we're producing some orchards. Not too much, it's only two of those farms, but yeah, this is pretty good. So looking at the production over here, you know, we're talking about 12 citrus, 12 cam4, and 6 orchard. It's not huge, but it's also not that small. And we have, of course, a couple of ships. Actually, it's two different ships. You know, there's one that's taking care of the citrus and the cam4, and one that's actually taking care of the orchard. Continuing our tour, we have over here another very small island, which is the other one where we have nothing on. On Prosperity over here, we're still basically doing the same, of having a lot of oil and having a lot of caoutchouc production. But we have over here a trade union with three items. I started to buy some items. We bought the Arborist, which is increasing productivity, decreasing the number of modules. So instead of 144, which is normal for caoutchouc, it's only 130. Then we have over here this furrow plow, which is productivity plus 25%. And last but not least, we have Ferras over here to increase the productivity by 50% and the workforce need by minus 10. This is a no workforce, so we also have the plus 50 on the caoutchouc. And therefore, with all of those things, you know, we're talking about more than 200 of productivity. Actually, this is full, so now it's going down. But yeah, I think it's 250 or something, I guess. This is pretty great. You know, this is making us a lot of caoutchouc, enough caoutchouc for all of my empire, basically. Then we continue to the next one over here, which is a small one, no population, making actually the coconut oil. We do need quite a bit of coconut oil also for some of our productions there. So this is now making eight per minute when it's not full. And last but not least, I recently took over this island over here to make some more wood because I needed a lot of wood. I mean, let me show you, if we look at Manola over here, in terms of the wood, we need 71. So yeah, I had to have quite a bit of production of wood, but now that's working well. And of course we have for all of this, a lot of ships, right? We have three ships for the first wood that you saw, one for the second one. This was the orchard and it's also doing the coconut. We have the herbs, we have the gold from La Isla, M4 citrus and actually we also have caoutchouc and tobacco because in the caoutchouc island I forgot to show you that indeed we have the arborist right and the arborist is creating tobacco one out of five so now the total production is 26 for caoutchouc but also five of tobacco which is great you know because that way we can make cigars so yeah that was all of the small island as you can see they're all feeding into Manola because we have electricity on Manola 
So this is where we want to do all of our productions, right? And we have them all over here. The Hacienda used to be over here. We've actually moved it over there because it was giving me more space for big farms, right? Like I have several of those layouts for big farms. One, two, and the third one that's only half to use. I could use even more there with a lot of space for the farm. And then I have all of the production buildings very close over here. So let me show you a bit what is happening. First of all, I knew this corner would be too far from the Hacienda and probably would be too much space you know, for the Hacienda farms. Because remember the Hacienda farms, even with tractors, this is only 96 fields. So it's not a lot. So I basically started by building this first. This is basically all of the high plantain that I need for both Manola, but also for the Isla. So it's quite a bit, right? I think we have around 10 of these fried plant and kitchen. We have fish oil factories and we have over here a lot of plantain plantations. They don't have tractors, this one, because I didn't really need that much. But we do have a trade union Keep if ever needed. Suppressed. Then I put my first layout. This is a stamp, so don't hesitate to check my video description below if you want to get all of those stamps. And this is a stamp doing a lot of corn. Because we need corn for many things remember right we need corn for things like tortilla we also need corn for the silos in many of the animal farms but we also need corn for things like ethanol that we're starting now so this is a lot of corn i've actually built all of the fertilizer silos but they're all paused i'm not actually making fertilizer yet but if in the future we need to upgrade we need to have a higher production then that's easy you know this is already ready I did put a trade union with two items. The first one is going to increase the productivity, but also give us cacao, caoutchouc, and cotton for free. So I felt that was a really good one. You can put it either on sugarcane or on corn. So that's why I put it over here. And then we have also the pedologist, which is productivity and cacao. And the key reason I did both of these is because I don't have the cacao fertility on this island. This way, I'm still making quite a bit of cacao without having the fertility on the island. Then I had a bit of space in the corner, so I put one of those cotton plantations because you can't have Hacienda farms for cotton. So that's why I put it in the corner. And then we start another over here, which is doing two things. You know, that's what's great also with those Hacienda farms is you can change the crop after you've built it and it will still be there. And there's quite a few you can do, right? So we're doing over here two things. We're doing the sugar cane on this side and we're doing the coffee on that side. And similarly, as you can see, I've built all of the different tractors and silos, but all of the silos are paused while the tractors are working. And last but not least, we have over here a third one, which as I said, you know, is just half. I could put exactly the same on the other half. And this is for grain. You look like a royalist. That's enough for us. Of course, he's annoying me, declaring war. Let's request a ceasefire. This grain will go into breweries, right? We have the grain plus the corn to make the beer. And by the way, now this is enough production for all of the beer of my whole empire. It's not just for the new world, it's also for the old world. So I've completely deleted all of the beer production in the old world. And that was quite a lot, you know? <laughs> it was both all of the grain, it was all of the hop, we had this island over here that was basically only for hop, right? And it was full of hop all the way over here, all the way over there. Now it's all deleted. Now the only thing on this island is actually red pepper. Spoiler alert, I'm thinking of deleting that too soon. <laughs> Stay tuned. But yeah, we're producing all of the beer for the whole empire. And actually you can see this is full. We're producing a bit more than what's needed. We're producing also all of the rum for the empire, of course, right? So this is all done over here. Oh, I see one Still is waiting low. for it to arrive. Why? Oh, it's probably not enough of these. So let's upgrade one. But yeah, this is what's happening over there. Now to have, now to be able to have all of those tractors, we did have to start building a fuel station. We didn't have fuel. We don't even have oil on this island, remember, right? So this is what you have over here. I have two fuel stations. I feel like in the past you could upgrade, you know, the productivity of your fuel station. Now you can't. So I really had to build two. But now, as you can see, two are enough for all of those farms. So this is perfect. And we have this line over here. This is actually quite a short line, you know, going into this arbor for the oil. The oil is coming from Prosperity, so it's not that far, right? Remember on Prosperity, we're making quite a lot of oil over here. And I could even make more if needed. So that's working well, no problem. As you can see, it's full, all good. 
So that's what's happening for most of the farms. You know, you used to have tons and tons of farms. Now they're super well organized into clean layouts, right? The only one that we still need to look at is the cotton. You cannot do cotton in the Hacienda. So I obviously didn't put it in the range of the Hacienda. Instead, this is what's over here. It's taking quite a bit of space, right? I didn't use tractors or things like this because I felt like I still had tons of space. Um, but in the future, we can make that even better if needed. You may wonder why I'm putting so much cotton. You're going to see soon that it is not just for cotton fabric. We're actually using cotton for other things. But we do have the cotton fabric just next door over here. We need a lot less than before. And also what I've done is you'll see that most of my farms I've actually put plus 50% because they take a lot of space. So I want as few farms as possible. But then what I've done is I've put minus 50% on many of the production buildings, things like the rum, things like the cotton, because these ones don't take a lot of space, right? I mean, this is super small. So having twice the number of building, that's fine. It doesn't take a lot of space. And this way I don't have a negative impact of increasing all of these. It is balanced by the impact of these ones. This is why actually you can see I'm even getting a positive bonus thanks to all of these working conditions. So yeah, over here, as I said, we have the cotton fabric. And moving up over here, we have... Time to develop my passions. And moving up over here, we have the tortilla maker, taking a lot of the corn, plus a bit of the beef. You can see the beef is over here. It's clean layout. I like it a lot. Hola. It has, you know, a six field, but it also has a silo, right? the silo that you can see over here, which is using more corn. And again, that's why the corn production is quite a big one. But yeah, we have the beef here. I really like this layout. It's clean and simple. Then we move into the ponchos. Right? They're using alpaca wool to make the poncho. We have the minus 50%. And again, this is poncho for this island, also poncho for La Isla. And I remember we need also poncho for the old world. So all of this is over here and it's still not a lot, right? Then we have next to it the bombin, which is one of the buildings that does require cotton fabric. Then we have coffee roasters, a couple of over here. Minus 50%, but the electricity is on. So that's actually still 150%. So that's great. And that's using, of course, the coffee we're making on the island. So all good. Then we have over here the ball manufacturer. Right, we have a couple because we need, again, on this island, but we also need on the isla. It requires a caoutchouc that we bring from Prosperity and a bit of Nandu feather, which is just over here. We have three of them. All of them also have a silo. So it's producing quite a lot. That's working well. And then over here, we have a big, big layout where three quarters of it is paused. So I could delete them. All the they, I, know. So I could delete them because they do all cost a bit of coin. But I think it's fine. Like it's three for each. What is it? Maybe it's 100 coins in total. That's fine. <laughs> right. But yeah, we have this alpaca wool production over here. Right. Which also has a silo. And it's also producing salpetre because of the electricity. So this is amazing. I mean, this is actually providing so much salpetre. It's crazy. We're producing 24 salpetre. I mean, not 24 because many are paused, but let's say nine salpetre per minute. This was what I was producing in the old world and it was costing a lot of people and money. Now this is all for free. So yeah, that's a great layout. One of my stamps again, of course, you can find it on my Discord community. Then over here, we have a couple of trade unions for future productions. This one is not even built, but this is for my cigar, right? We're making cigar with wood veneers, which are made just next door, and the tobacco that you saw we're getting from Prosperity. So that's easy. We could grow it a lot more in the future. Right now, I only need one. Then next to it, we have a training that I actually built, even if we're not really I using it that much, right? Combo. Two great items that are working for the ice cream factory and chocolate factory. So this is where we could also make chocolate. Even if right now I don't even need to make chocolate, I'm making enough chocolate uh, for free. So that's totally fine. But yeah, you could make chocolate with this, right? This requires the milk that we're getting for free, the chocolate and the citrus that you saw before to make the ice cream. Only one building is also enough. And then we have space for another trade union there when and if needed. Moving on to the next corner. This is a completely new corner of productions. This is even production that you may not have even seen before because these are all new productions that right? we have, for example, over here, the scooter factory, right? 
it's taking some motors not steam motors new kind of motors then it's also taking over here some pigments and some caoutchouc so the caoutchouc we had the pigments i'm going to show you in a second and the motor in a second too but yeah with this we're making scooters and there's space for a second one there when and if needed then to do that as i said we need some motors so we have actually two of those motor assembly plants but they have a minus 50 percent it's going to require some steel some celluloid and some electric cable so a lot of new productions again so we have just above the furnace for the steel we have just above the laboratory for the pigments taking some salpet that we're making now locally and some minerals this is one of the mines so i built all of those mines I put a minus 50% on them so that way it helps with my working condition and next to it we're making the cables which is caoutchouc plus copper the copper has to come from the old world can't really make it in the new world but that's fine it's not a lot right and then next to it we're making the rest that's needed first the celluloid celluloid taking some cotton so that's why you also do need quite a bit of cotton the cam for our axe that you saw on the other island and the ethanol so we do need quite a bit of ethanol that's why you have three of those chemical plant ethanol over here which are again taking more corn and also some wood which is why we need so much wood on this island but yeah with this we're basically making scooter uh, so a lot of building just to make scooters but of course scooters are great right and we can also make some fans actually basically with the same because this is motors and aluminium we're already making a lot of aluminium now we're making motors over here right so with this we can make the fans so yeah these are those scooters over here those fans there uh, we still need to talk about the mezcal the jalea and the perfume we saw the cigars and the ice cream now we need to talk about the samba school and the cinema too there is by the way over here some felt production then on top of it we have others i don't remember what that is oh this is the costume shop this is where we're making the costumes and the costume are then delivered into the samba school so these are sort of new types of services where you don't just put the building and it's done like a chapel for example is you put the building and then you need to give some resources in this case the costumes so we're making the costumes over here this is taking some cotton again another reason why we need more cotton some pigments that you just saw and La some nandu feathers I, so i put another laboratory over here because that was not enough otherwise then we have over here the film reels right for my cinema this is also delivered into a building like this one the cinema and remember we're also sending them to la isla so yeah, we have the chemical plant for film reels, taking some salpetre again and some celluloid, which is why we have the celluloid plant just next door and a chemical plant just next door for the celluloid. So a lot of more complex productions, but once you get the hang of it and also once you have electricity, it's already a lot easier. And then moving to that end over here, we still have the old productions of I miss aluminium my family. and also the sewing machine. I did delete a couple of those sewing machines because with the electricity, we obviously need a lot less. I think I basically divided the number by two, but we also have some new ones over here, right? We have, for example, the mezcal uh, that is taking some citrus and some herbs from the other islands, but also some sugar. So making the sugar just over here with the sugar cane. We have two of these bars. That's easy. Then we have one of those Halea kitchen which is taking also a bit of herbs and corn, plus some calamari. The calamari are actually directly on this island over here. We have four of these. It's actually a long production. I think it's two minute production cycle um, and the electricity doesn't do anything. So yeah, I need a couple, but it's not too bad. And here yeah, with this, we're making Ralea. And then we have three of those perfumes mixer. We're gonna take the coconut oil, we're gonna take more ethanol, and these orchids to make this perfume so again this is not the easiest production a bit more of an end game production but yeah this is done this is how we got everything every single one of those production i think i showed you over here today and for the lifestyle need they don't have everything yet we're getting there but not yet they have all three types of mail they have the light bulbs coming from the new world the lanterns over here, we haven't unlocked them yet in Mbesa, so I cannot give them. The jewelry, we actually just unlocked in the old world. I just haven't really started to make a full production for it. 
that's why it's empty. The champagne we started to give already in the last episode. And then again, the last two are not unlocked yet. At Billiard Table, we need almost 10,000 investors. We're not there yet. And the souvenirs, this is from the tourists. 2,000 tourists, by the way. It's not like five. <laughs> um, so we're not there yet either. But at least we have done all of the happiness, all of the normal goods. I mean, that is pretty good, right? And by the way, I hope you realize that there's another big change there. This used to be Jornaleros. This used to be Jornaleros. There used to be a lot of Jornaleros. They're all gone. Now it's all Obreros, right? So Makes we have... me want to keep striving. So we have a lot more of those Obreros. And it's also simplified the things, right? We have one island with all the Jornaleros, one island with all of the Obreros and Artista. And we're giving to the Obreros everything in terms of normal needs, in terms of happiness too, including the cigars, right? And for lifestyle need, it's the same. We're almost there. We have all types of mail. We have the spectacles. The typewriter is an interesting one because it shows us unlocked, but I actually haven't unlocked it yet. So I can't give it to them. And then we have the illuminated script, which are also in Mbesa, and I'm not able to really make them yet in Mbesa. But we've started to provide all three of the ones at the bottom, the beach. We have also the Samba School, right, which is the one that you saw over here, right? So that one is also given. And last but not least, the scooters. To be honest, I'm pretty sure that this is not profitable. Like 12 coins for scooters, this is nothing. But, eh, but you know, I like to min max everything. Last but not least for today, we have unlocked the Grand Stadium. So of course, I had to build it. This is a monument, a bit like the World Fair. Three phases. It actually cost a lot of reinforced concrete, so you need to bring that from the old world. It cost also a bit of timber and other things, but probably nothing that you can't handle at this point in the game. Let's finish it. Your city has grown more beautiful. It does require electricity too, but that's why you should build it on Manola anyway. And in terms of gameplay, it has something really great because it can create influence. I can influence. already hear the crowd, the chanting, the cheers. That's great. That's great. We can get more than 100 of influence. And this is influence that will stack. You know, if I do two World Cups, for example, I could get 300 of influence. If I get... If I do 10 World Cups, I could be at 1,500 of influence on top of all of the influence that I already have. Now, you do need to prepare it, meaning you need to give some good. It also takes some time and all of this. But yeah, let's uh, definitely do it. You know? It will be the talk of the old world and the new. Because, you know, Halia, I have perfume. I don't have a lot, but you can have some champagne I have. You can have... You can have, I don't know if I can pause. Yeah, I can pause, for example, the perfume to make sure that they don't use all of my perfume. But with this, we should probably get at least over here and get something like 100 of influence at least. I really can't wait to get this because look at my influence, right? Super low. <laughs> and you have three left. And I still don't have a huge army. So I need more influence. I need more influence. And that's why in the next episode, we're going to focus more also on the old world. We need to expand the old world further, maybe get into skyscrapers, build a research institute, and so much more. I hope you liked this episode. As you can see, you know, I did a lot. Of course, it was off camera, otherwise, this would have been a very boring episode. But don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you have any questions, any thoughts, anything that you missed and you'll want to understand how I did it. I'm not hiding anything, you know, there's no cheats, there's no mods. We're continuing to play as normal. And I'm very proud of where we're getting to. Oh, whoa, that is not good. What is that? We need raw materials. Ah, I need to start sending more copper. Okay, let me make a note. <laughs> we need more copper. But yeah, otherwise everything is working pretty well in this city. I am very happy with it. Please smash the like button if you're still enjoying this series because it does help tremendously, especially for small channels like myself. And I hope to see you next time.